They want to be Filipino. Wait a minute. Who? I'm not sure. But this was linked many times. People said, yo, check out this video. It's called They Want to Be Filipino. We're going to find out who together. And uh, speaking of wanting to be Filipino, I'm going to the Philippines this year. I'm going to say this in almost every video, but it's going to be this year because some people still keep asking, yo, you going? You going? I'm going. And I'm going to film it like a movie. Cause I guarantee you it's gonna be like one. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I love y'all. Let's get into they wanna be Filipino. Let's see. Na mga ka proud today's video episode ay pag-usapan naman natin ang mga katangian kung bakit ba sobrang nahuhumaling sa ating mga Pilipino ang mga banyaga. Ang iba nga. And Newman Sessions. Hey. Na isang Pilipino. You're an American, and I'm Filipino. And everybody's everything. So it's like nobody's anything. Hey. When a white male named Adam Wheeler, Jadu now identifies as a Filipina woman and joins us tonight. Jadu, thanks for coming on. Oh, uh, thanks for having me, Tuck. I identify as beautiful. I want to know what you I want to be a Filipino. Product. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. This is fantastic. That's so wholesome, bro. Para updated ka sa lahat ng ating Filipino Moments video. Tayong mga Pilipino sa pagiging hospitable. At patunay nga ang pagpapatuloy ng Pilipinas sa mga banyaga noong panahon ng gera. The newly elected President Manuel Quezon, it was not a question of whether his country would help, but why other nations did not. When you saw how the doors were basically closed to all of us mm. except the Philippines, and how... I seen this. The Filipino people are a very warm people. They're a very friendly people. Ang ilan naman yeah, man. ay talagang nakaramdam ng totoong pusong Pinoy. Walang MMM at tunay na pagmamalasakit. Kaya sobrang tumatak sa kanila ang kultura at kabaitang Pinoy na Pinoy. Sobrang mabait ng mga tao sa akin. At talaga nakaramdam ko na doon pa yung tahanan ko. Um, kahit malayo na ako sa Pilipinas, Araw-araw, iniisip ko tungkol sa mga tao doon, tungkol sa yung buhay doon, tungkol sa yung pakain doon. Um, kasi pag nakatira ko doon, uh, um, parang talagang gustong ko na maging Pilipino, mm. <laughs> na maging isang Pilipinas. Whatever love you give to the Philippines, there's a high return on investment. You will get it back tenfold. You have large families, and everyone seems to just be peaceful and contented to be around each other in the house. Bro. And family dropping by, and friends dropping by, and I yes. go at the door, and somebody's coming to see you, and yes. that's very much the way I remember things when I was a child. That Same. culture has faded a lot. From America now. Yes, bro. And I miss that. In Brazil, we the have the same culture here with your family. Is that the calidad humana, the human compassion is different. Mm -hmm. I could say that here, you in Filipinas, in general, because there are exceptions. We are not in a paradise. Mm -hmm. You have a culture of kindness, mm. a culture of friendship, yeah, a culture of humility. Yeah, uh, you are always open to receive people to understand different opinions, to be real tolerant. Yeah? Other countries, the culture is different. It's a culture of indifference yeah. and kindness. That's true. Mm -hmm. So you, I could say, are some, one of the unique countries in the world with this kind of calidad humana, human mm -hmm. compassion. Mm -hmm. And normally you represent, you express this calidad humana through this smiles mm -hmm. wow we had filipinos offer us a ride so for beautiful. free a meal for free and even a home for free this is seriously amazing ang isa sa pinakamalaking dahilan kung paano nakikilala ang pilipino sa ibang bansa i've seen so many comments you guys are so incredibly OFW. kind basta pilipino world class worker yan mga ka proud for the first time in order to help fill hundreds of open teaching spots APS has hired teachers from, teachers from halfway around the world. And their new teacher right. from the Philippines. I really choose New Mexico because I find it interesting to learn the cultures. Riza Rosalia was one of 33 Filipino teachers hired on by Albuquerque Public Schools. That's so awesome. Albuquerque! You know That's where Walter White is! Hi, Mrs. Goodin. You will be tired. I'm Mrs. Goodiness, your Chinese teacher. Welcome to my room. Seat number one. Good morning. Okay, I am Mrs. Goodiness, your science teacher. We are in the good hands. 
sa mga elementary at high school sa probinsya ng Chunburi, Rayong at mga katabi nitong lugar sa rehiyon ng Eastern Economic Corridor ng Thailand, matatalaga ang mga papalaring Pinoy English teacher. Goodbye my teacher, goodbye. Goodbye my teacher, goodbye. Para sad. Ah, oh, bro, come on. Don't do that, man. At noon ngang panahon ng pandemya, ang ating mga bayaning kababayang nurses sa buong mundo ang matatapang na itinaya ang buhay para sa ating lahat. Malaban kami, there's no turning back anymore because or my ano na kami, we are already contaminated. We just hope that ano. continue to we have no other choice but ano, yung... bro I, seeing stuff like this bro is so hard bro because you can see how how it affects them bro i didn't expect to cry in this one if we are not going to do this ano, if we are turning our back from all these patients, I'm sure magkukrola yung ano, sanita. Kasi ito lang, um, ganun kasi yun pag ang hospital ay, pag nalalaman ng ibang hospital, na isang hospital ay um, hindi na, yung parang wala ng mga nagtatrabaho ng mga nurses, doctors, and, and those who, um, who are part of the sanitation, sigurado pag nakita nila yung hospital na wala nang mga nagtatrabaho. People like this are so sila, important, y'all. For them, real. Why are we putting ourselves into risk? Kumaga, unbelievable um, empathy. Unbelievable. Makukrola talaga. Che, uh, ang ano, sanita. Lahat mapapabayaan. Lahat mamamatay. Kumbaga. It takes a lot of strength, man. Hindi ko alam. Kaya, mahirap. It's our choice. Ganun, mahirap talaga. Hindi lamang sa ugaling Pilipino na pabilib oh, ang mga banyaga. Oh, I've seen this video though. Natin, ang mga viral at trending na mga Pilipino talents sa buong mundo. I've seen this Dito one. Dito na dyan ang mga Pilipino singers. I'm very, very excited to, to do some work with you. Are you Filipino? Yeah, I'm Filipino. Oh, but she's from Liverpool. I think I've seen this one. My mom has been in Ireland for about 20 years. Wow, does your mom sing? Me and my family Ireland, sing that's it. Together. I thought it was Liverpool. You don't sound like a karaoke singer. You sound like a singer singer. Wow. We, we know you're stylish. We know you are super cool. How did you get so damn good at singing? <laughs> I mean, I got a Filipino mother, so we're doing karaoke <laughs> every weekend. There we go. <laughs> yes. That's... Be about that. How long this you is so singing? beautiful, bro. Um, I've been singing since I was three. What else do you sing? Um, I sing every Saturday on the Filipino community choir. Do you the see what you do is in that choir? Yes. I am in love with your voice. <laughs> My heart was melted. Yo, there is so many things that you can take away, for example, in this. And yo, when I was reading it, I was like, they want to be Filipino, huh? I mean, they did show, for example, that there was someone who was identifying as Filipino. You know, I'm not going to get into all that. But what I am going to get into is something that we do want from that. And I believe a lot of people do and should, I, I think, is exactly what that one guy was saying, talking about this thing culturally they have a kindness a a natural kindness within the culture and i think i've mentioned this before because many ask like oh you love the, the philippines you know why why do you love it right and of course i can start with the talent is immense it's amazing it's beautiful i love listening to the voices the different voices the unique ones just the talent all in all but it's not just that right it's um of course you guys have probably seen when i've stood up before doing my reactions there is a brazilian flag here and 
I am Brazilian and in Brazilian culture, we are very family oriented. So when it comes to the US though here, it's very different. Kick the kid out, you know, I've seen too many friends get kicked out at 18 and all of these things that I'll never understand culture wise. I will never get it. I want to be with my family, bro, because one day we are all going to die, bro. Like uh, whether this sounds crazy or too deep, like it, it is a fact that whether you face it or not doesn't change it. And the idea of that and kicking your kid out or all of these things just doesn't make sense, especially where I'm from, right? So culturally wise, Brazilians, like we, we stay with the family. We're very close knit. And then the Philippines are the same way. Come stay with me. Hey, friends coming over, auntie, uncle, everything. And this is how it's supposed to be. Humans in general, we're supposed to be together. Like we're supposed to all be together, not just one person. It's supposed to be multiple people. And I'm not saying go ahead and grab a bunch of friends, right? Sometimes you can have only one close friend or two close friends and that's that. But I'm talking about those people that are blood, those, those people that have raised you and, and taught you the things that you know and some of the things that you learned on your own, sure. But there's things that you learned and, and maybe gotten from your family and other friends. And there's so many things, right? And my point is, in this culture it's supposed to be all together all as one and it's a beautiful thing i love my family so much like so i will never understand this whole thing of like kick out like my family never and i mean never tell me like hey man get out the house bro they never said anything like that ever they've never said anything like that because to them they they would love if i stayed forever because of the idea that hey i'm their son and they are my my mother and father like i love them bro to the end forever and always like and the idea of like separating is just crazy right like if we really think about it on ground level it's crazy i mean unless unless you have a very very bad relationship in terms of like abuse or certain things like that that gets into a different level but we're all not perfect sometimes you can get in a fight with your, your family your father your mom whatever it is like of course i've gotten in fights arguments but and then the beautiful thing about family is that's what makes a family you fight the next and you amend those things because no one's gonna be perfect i don't care if you have the most perfect love of your life you're gonna get in an argument something stupid something like that and then you grow from that you get you gain strength from that that's what builds that relationship into a very beautiful thing is you learn so many things about each other and you learn to grow and you learn to be a bigger person both of you do you learn to find out things about yourself that you didn't know before and there's so many beauties to it and i'm getting onto a tangent but to me it's a very very powerful thing friends family together kindness kindness to to be able to forgive and kindness to be able to to come back and look at the situation or kindness to come back and look at hey man human being and not only just human being but my mother my father my my friends and so many things i can just keep on saying but it's important and i love that i love that about the philippines and i love that about my family and the culture that we have that this other kind of thing i'll never understand you know like the cultural difference in that sense if you know what i mean but i love the culture in the philippines and i love the philippines i do i'm going this year and uh i love you guys and i want to say thank you so 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 much for watching i really do appreciate it hey if you liked it, leave a like. If you loved it, subscribe. If you want more, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, till next time, guys. Peace.